Hey guys, so today I figured we'd switch it up a little bit and talk about luxury travel and kind of talk through some of my thoughts around the higher priced slash luxury travel bags that I've purchased over the last year and just kind of talk through my thoughts and do a review for you, um, a mini review on all of them. I feel like I haven't seen too many reviews on these bags, um, specifically the Ramoa uh, carry-on bags and there are two different styles here so I'm excited to share my thoughts with you on them. And then I also have my Tumi travel bag and I want to talk to you guys about that as well because if you are like me and you travel a decent amount for work, it's good to see what else is out there that isn't considered like designer for travel and that's super functional and then we also have some of my favorite travel and carry-on bag styles which is the keep all 45 from louis vuitton as well as my new ysl river gauche tote and i want to talk to you guys about this bag because it's new and i want to know your thoughts but i also want to share mine on having a you know a resort style bag as a travel bag and kind of where I plan on it fitting in when I do travel and where I would take it to and why I went with this specific bag. So if you're interested in hearing more about all of this travel stuff, uh, stay tuned for the video and we'll get right into it. Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night like I am leaving all the bad stuff. And trying to remain strong, I know Okay, so the first bag I want to talk to you guys about is my Ramoa Essential Cabin Suitcase. So this is from their Essential line, which if you know Ramoa, they're really well known for their aluminum sided suitcases, specifically rolling suitcases. So um, when I was deciding on finally making the investment in a much nicer carry-on than what I had, um, <laughs> I was kind of forced to because my original carry-on rolling suitcase actually broke. So I figured I am traveling a decent amount, not just by plane, but also by car. And so a kind of like a carry-on slash like a cabin suitcase made the most sense because at most for some of these work trips, I'm only packing for one or two days and I wanted something long lasting uh, with a warranty which this does have as well as something that looked sleek and just kind of elevated my travel style as well as the functionality and weight so this bag even though it's not really a bag but rolling suitcase is um, one of their lowest most entry level uh, rolling suitcase lines they actually retail for seven hundred and forty dollars and I went with this particular style because it was their smallest one, but also because it was their lightest one. So this is not actually the aluminum sided suitcase. This is all polycarbonate. And the reason for this is I wanted something super, super lightweight that if I could carry it by myself, like I'd be set and just pack it to the brim and not have it weigh too much because when us ladies are traveling, it's it's too much to have a like full bag and a rolling suitcase, especially if you're like lugging it from, you know, around the airport or if you're lugging it from car to hotel to meetings, you know how it can be. So I went with this, um, this color mostly because I just thought it looked more business-like and it is like a charcoal black gray-ish, I don't know, tone. Um, and it's just super well-made, I will say. I've used this about 15 times already and it already is showing where it's showing marks um, on the front and on the side and that's mostly attributed to me like dragging it from the car onto the ground or you know putting it on the security belt and also putting it in the cabin above like those little cargo cabins above in the plane and you can see it has a decent amount of wear on it. Um, what they don't tell you until you've actually used this is this bag is the easiest bag to roll. They both are. Ramoas, I don't know what it is about the way they've configured these wheels. They move so well. I'm able to put my bag on top and just extend this all the way out and it's the easiest bag to travel with. So I went with the polycarbonate one 
I think that if I had no like weight restrictions as far as like being able to carry the bags, I probably would have gone with the all the, the full metal one. This is actually my husband's and for him, he doesn't travel for work a lot. He usually will need a carry on for like vacations and when we go home, which is decent amount. Um, our family is back in the Northeast. So we've been traveling a decent amount for like family events or weddings. And so for those kind of weekend trips, he wanted something that he could keep everything in and he doesn't care about weight. So this one is a little bit heavier. So the dimensions on this one, let me quickly review that with you guys. The essential cabin, which is the size, so either they go by lines, and so the polycarbonate in the matte black is, let me do the size and weight. So it is actually 21.7 inches tall. It is 15.8 inches wide, and in depth, it is 9.1 inches. Um, and this does not expand, so you have to be mindful of that if you're looking for a bag that expands. This is as big and as wide as it's gonna get. Um, and then as far as weight, this one weighs 7.1 pounds. So it's a pretty light bag um, and it actually packs a punch. I will say these are both very similar in size. Um, this one is a tiny bit heavier and I didn't really think too much about the weight because I thought the metal was going to be much heavier, it really isn't. And we can kind of dive into the weight and dimensions of this one. So this is the original line, it's called original and this is the Cabin Plus. So what's different about this is it has the metal accents and it's covered in metal all the way through and the, I will say this top handle is the biggest difference. It is a like snaps down handle versus this one being just a plastic handle. And otherwise, I mean, it's definitely a more sturdier bag. It has metal hinges, but it rolls the same. And dimension wise, it's not too much different. I will say the way these two clothes are completely different. This one is just a zipper close. Like I said, not the fanciest one they make. And it just clicks right in here. And then you can obviously set the lock. And then this one is way cooler with it. It kind of reminds me of like a James Bond bag. It pops open like that. And then you kind of have to clip it close. But I want to show you the inside. So I'm not actually going to close that yet. But the Cabin Plus, which is the aluminum suitcase. And this is the original style. Is 22.1 inches tall. It is 17.8 inches wide and it is 9.9 .9 inches in depth. Um, but this one does weigh 10.4 pounds. So this one weighs 7.1 and this weighs 10.4. So yeah, I mean, I guess empty, they don't feel that different, but there is definitely at least a 3.3 .3 pound difference, which I guess does make me happy I went with this one. But what's nice is that when I work, when I travel for work, I have the option to take either. I think I would probably take this one if this is a, just like a, driving overnight you know just a visit um quick trip for business versus this one um being something that i can pack as like concise as possible and then also bring it on a plane with me i will say this one does have some marks too obviously it being metal these are going to get damaged um it does hurt <laughs> to see the scratches on here already um, since I've used mine much more than his and so I'm surprised to see as many scratches as I, as I do But this is the also the matte black coloring and I'm curious enough you guys have any Ramoa Suitcases whether it's the polycarbonate all over or it's the aluminum Do you guys notice a difference between the lighter colors versus the darker colors? This comes in at like a silver aluminum, which I think is stunning or this one comes actually in different colors, like bright colors, and also comes in a glossy white. And I was very drawn to the glossy white, but my husband talked me out of it and said that it was gonna get destroyed. And I guess darker marks would obviously show up on white, but I'm already seeing white marks on this. So keep me posted as to what you guys have seen if you have these bags. Um, and both of these bags actually fit a ton, and it's mostly because of how they are built on the inside. So let's go ahead and 
Okay, if you can see in here, Ramoa bags are awesome because they have this like compression plate in them. And what you can do is they are actually fully removable, but you can actually put your clothes in here and it compresses it down and it Velcros clothes. Now this Velcro is, I think it's like proprietary to them. It's a rubber Velcro um, piece that this is regular, like the non like grippy part and this is plastic. So it does not actually stick to anything except for this piece. It does not stick to your clothes, anything delicate in here, which is kind of cool, but it's so key that they have these compression compartments in here because I can fit so much more than I think I can because it slims it down so much. And it also has like a, like a bungee kind of texture to it. So it's going to protect the different layers of your thing. So let's say you have something that's a little bit more delicate under here. If you put this on, it's gonna protect it from anything that lays on top. So you could lay your delicates or anything fragile under here and then put maybe your shoes on here and have it be separated. Um, there is not too much else in these bags, honestly. There is a zipper compartment on each one of these that allows you to put things in there. Um, I mean, nothing really crazy at all. Um, I will say both of these sizes will fit a garment bag. Um, I have an old garment bag from one of my previous suitcases that fits in here really well. And that way I can carry clothes on hangers in a garment bag, fold it up and sit it right in here. And then I usually keep like shoes um, under one of these to separate my garment clothes. And then I put like toiletries and like hair items or anything else on here. Um, but most of the time I don't carry anything but toiletries, clothes, and shoes in these in these carry-on bags. I will put additional like work items in the personal item that you get to carry on the plane with you. Um, and sometimes it differs depending if it's a road trip or if it's a work trip or if it's for leisure. So yeah, that is really all I wanted to share on the Ramoa suitcases. And I'm going to show you how these clothes right here it snaps kind of feels like we're like doing a crazy wrong business deal with like multi-million dollars with these suitcases but this suitcase is pretty badass um it definitely fits my husband's style and i think he just like loves the metal aspect of it and then here's mine if you guys can see up close it still has a very similar like industrial look but it is so much lighter and the inside is honestly the exact same. It has the two compression compartments and they're just both so easy to roll around. Um, but yeah, these are my Ramoa luggages and I don't think I shared the price of this one. This one is actually $12.65. Um, and I will share a little secret with you guys. I actually bought this one when I was in Las Vegas and I was thinking, okay, you know what? I'm gonna save a little bit of money on sales tax by buying it in Vegas. But you know what? If there is no Ramoa store in your state, which there isn't in Tennessee, you don't pay taxes on this. So I would take advantage if you were thinking about it and actually thought you were gonna go buy one in store while you're on vacation, just buy it where you live and save money on tax. And you can actually go ahead and get these um, luggage tags you can get them hot stamped in the store when you go on vacation. So actually we got this for Christmas and then we brought this on vacation with us to Miami and he got it hot stamped in Miami at the Ramoa store there. So it has a pretty great warranty on it as well. These, um, what they will do is they have a registration program online where you create an account and you go ahead and register your Ramoa bags. And each bag has a serial number um, a personal or unique serial number engraved on each of the bags and that is the way that they can actually have registered to your name so if these ever get lost there's actually a plate um, on the side that they can go ahead and research and they know to call the number and return it to you via your address which is great or your phone number or whatever you have registered and then also if these bags are ever damaged by an airline you go ahead and call Ramoa and they will file a claim on your behalf and go ahead 
and either get a replacement or any repairs that need to be done they will do them for you and take care of that process which i thought was kind of cool um but yeah i mean i've had these for less than a year i've used this a ton already and i will keep you guys posted on how these hold up hopefully they hold up as well as i plan on them doing that doing because these are expensive these are pretty expensive but i feel like we're at a point where we travel so much that instead of buying cheaper suitcases that tend to break so much just have a really good quality one and there are really good other quality ones out there i just was really drawn to this one and i kind of feel like we could add to our collection and i'm very drawn to collecting things so um i thought it was cool to start the collection with two carry-on bags for travel so that is it on the remote bags let me know if you guys have questions on these if you need me to kind of <laughs> try things in there for you and see what fits i'm happy to answer that but on to the other travel bags okay so let's start off with this to me bag this is the to me voyager shoulder bag and the reason why i was starting to look into to me bags was i was originally going to get a backpack um like i had said earlier when you're traveling for work the last thing you want is something else heavy to carry when you're packing for just a few days it's business you're in and out and you don't want to carry a heavy bag so I originally went into Toomey, I went to the store here in Nashville and I originally wanted a backpack. I felt like it would be easier to carry. Um, I usually carry notebooks, um, external keyboard and a laptop as well as like a hard drive and then just any other like chargers or accessories I need. Um, it kind of starts to add up in weight. So I went into the Toomey store and I just could not see myself wearing a backpack to business meetings i think it's maybe because i'm so small and i feel like when i wear a backpack to a business meeting i look like i'm going to school and maybe that's just like a personal issue but i felt like it was more professional to have a larger bag and the reason why i was okay with going with a tote bag was this one actually has a feature that it unzips from the bottom it actually slips over your suitcase handle so that it is easily maneuvered through the airport and I don't have to like have a heavy, heavy bag with all of my computer and work stuff in there. Um, so that's what sold me on it. The rest of what sold me on it is the capacity and organization features as well as the warranty. Okay, so similar to Ramoa, Tumi also has a registration process. There is a plate in every Tumi bag, and I have no idea where mine is, but it actually is all linked to my profile. So if this bag is ever stolen or found, it is, or returned, I should say, not just stolen and found, it has a plaque in it that is assigned to me, and I have no idea where it is in here, but... I know it's set up, but um, I loved this bag because of all of the organization features. So this actually has a little like zipper holder so nobody can open your bag without pulling it out and kind of making it obvious, but it has a lot of pockets in here. It has a cell phone pocket. It has little compartments, a pen holder, and usually I keep all of my like easy access items in here. So um, phone charger uh wallet anything that i need to access quickly hand sanitizer hand cream i put it in here as well as like pens or other accessories i need for work and then it has a couple of other magnetic compartments it's very similar to my seren uh bag by louis vuitton just much bigger and more carefree but it has a padded compartment in the back here to put your laptop this will fit up to at least a 16 inch laptop mine is a 13 inch and it has so much room in here so up to a 16 inch laptop would fit splendidly. And what's also cool is back here, they have a cell phone pocket. So it actually is the perfect size for a cell phone. It will definitely fit a Max phone, but what it is is it makes it so that it's a very easy access pocket and you know only your phone is in there. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then the rest is really just like zippered pockets that you can put 
anything. So what I usually do is um, I will, if I'm doing a, just like a driving road trip business trip, I will pack this with all of my toiletries and anything that like, like a hair straightener or all of my computer stuff in here. And then I can fit all of my shoes and clothes into the other bag versus when I'm traveling for leisure, I usually don't have this much room to pack things in. And I tend to be wanting to carry things on my person when I'm traveling for leisure that are more valuable. So this is like the perfect work travel bag. I will link everything below for you guys. So if you guys are looking for the exact same thing, you can find it. But I just thought this was a nice, you know, a nice nylon, carefree, but also very business professional to me bag that didn't make me look like a little kid on like a field trip with my backpack. So that is my quick little review on the to me Voyager shoulder bag. It also has feet. Okay, next up is one of my favorite travel bags and one of my favorite purchases ever. So let's hit those high points again. This is the Louis Vuitton Macassar Keep on 45 bandolier and the bandolier part just means that it has the ability to be worn with another strap over your shoulder or crossbody. Um, and the Macassar is the men's line and it's the colorway that has black trim with silver hardware, but also has the monogram canvas. So most of the men's items at Louis Vuitton are silver hardware, which is usually how you can tell it's from the men's line. But I had to have this colorway because I knew it was going to be so easy to travel with. And I do, do love the monogram key balls with the patinaed leather getting there maybe eventually, but this is the 45 and it's perfect carry on bag. Now this is the best carry on bag because it actually fits and slides under the seat in front of you. So when you can only carry one, like one carry-on item and then one personal item. I usually make this my personal item if I'm carrying a rolling suitcase and I will put my purse into this when I get on the plane. Usually when I, if I'm traveling and it's going to be a long travel day, I have my bum bag and so it's easy to just take off my bum bag, toss it in here and then throw it under the seat in front of me. If I'm only traveling with this, I will have this in the compartment above and I will have my tote bag or other larger bag um, with me in the seat in front of me so great great investment I will say I have used this so much I do not take this bag for work travel I just don't feel like it's very appropriate um, if you're meeting with customers or clients or partners you don't want to like scream Louis Vuitton I mean most people know the monogram canvas I just prefer to be a little bit more low-key um, with my travel bags for work. So Ramoa, if you know, you know, but other than that, um, this is my one of my top favorite travel bags for leisure. It's also a great bag for road trips. If you're traveling for a like leisurely road trip, it fits so much. Now in this bag, I have a Samorga organizer in here and it has a compartment for my laptop. And I have some cup holders in here and it helps keep the bag in great shape as far as not, you know, collapsing upon itself. It actually holds it up really well. And when I'm traveling for like vacation, I usually end up packing some of my most like, not prized possessions, but ones I really want to keep on my body and secure. So I will keep um, any additional bags that I'm going to be bringing with me. So um, if I have like a going out bag or any other bags I plan on wearing on the trip, I'll keep it on my person in here. And I'll also carry, um, if I'm carrying a rolling suitcase, I will keep my laptop in here. But if I am just traveling with this, I will keep like my Kindle, everything in here, I'll toss it in. And it's just a great, great, like keep all bag. <laughs> What do you know? Um, I will also, when I'm traveling for leisure, if I have any like luxury items, I always carry them on. I never, ever check them. So jewelry, bags, shoes, anything, sunglasses, I keep everything on my person. So depending on where I'm going and how long I'll be gone, 
um, this will be one of the bags that I carry all of that stuff in. It's also a great bag for like holding toiletries or hair items or anything else you need easy access to because it truly is an easy bag to get in and out of. Um, it does get heavy though. I will say do not enjoy carrying it on my shoulder for a long period of time. So if I am bringing it with me on a long trip and I have my carry on rolling suitcase, I will just plop it on top and it will actually sit really well on the suitcase and I just roll it around the airport. So it's a great option and it's just it's so fab to have a Louis Vuitton luggage item because that's you know where they started and that's part of their legacy so I plan on adding more in the future just because I think it'll last forever and I think it will be in style for a very long time I just think it's it's classic so that is the Louis Vuitton Keepall 45 and I will definitely want to add a size up so maybe the keep all 50 which comes in the monogram and the fachetta leather the macassar only comes in the 45 and the 55 so it is kind of a big jump but um i think i would probably get a decent amount of use out of it so that is that on this bag okay and finally my newest baby this is the saint laurent riva gauche ysl tote and this is the size small so i recently got this i think i didn't film an unboxing for you guys last week and i had so many thoughts and i still have so many thoughts so since we last talked i actually went ahead and ordered an organizer for this bag and this is from zumoni so i will link this below but i actually i wanted to get one that had different compartments so different or bag organizer brands make different organizers and they, you know, they can differ in quality. I've had Zumoni before. I knew they're great quality. Um, I've also purchased Samorga. They are, I think, the top two best. But I just wanted one that actually had every compartment that I wanted. So this is the one that had that. And it has like a an iPad slit or a small laptop holder here and it has one cup holder versus two which I only need one cup holder <laughs> I barely ever put a cup in there but it does come in handy I'll put like my cell phone or something like keys or something in there but it's perfect fit for the beige linen um, this is the sea salt colored tote and I will include the name of this for you guys um, but it's helped so much with keeping the bag sitting up straight, super structured, and it just fits so well in there. So this is going to be my new travel, like for vacation tote bag for the plane. And I will tell you guys why. I have the On The Go GM and it is a phenomenal bag, but the crux of that bag is that it does not close and it does not fit under the seat in front of you sitting upright. So unless you want to put it on its side and push it under, which I really don't because everything would fall out, um, you're gonna need a different bag, you're gonna want a different bag. My Neverfull fits perfectly under there so never have to worry about it not closing because it obviously doesn't close. But this bag, guys, it snaps closed. So I've done this already. You can put my laptop in here, which I usually, even when I travel for leisure, I do, I know I'm the worst. I bring my work laptop with me, but in case of emergency, but it fits in here and it zips. And so, I mean, literally nothing is gonna get out of this bag when it's under the seat in front of you. So yes, this one, I would probably have to put sideways under the seat in front of me. It is, it's smaller than my Tumi and my Tumi fits under. So I'll keep you guys posted, but this is just the perfect size and it is not small. I hate that it's called the small bag because it's really not small. It fits everything that I need. Um, and I'm just so happy <laughs> to start using it. And the fact that you can travel with it is great. But I also got it for a more summery work tote. So just taking it to meetings or, you know, if I'm running to have lunch and then, you know, do work, be great to ho hold everything. Usually I carry my computer, my AirPods, um, my agenda, pens, and my phone, all that, and I keep that in here. So 
it's perfect for it. So I will link this one again for you guys down below. This is a seasonal color. So this is the sea salt color and it's available on the St. Laurent website. I've seen it for pre-order on like Neiman Marcus, Bergdorf's or Saks, I think. So if you guys like get points there, I can link them below from those places as well. But um, you don't have to pre-order. It's actually available right now on the St. Laurent website in the small size. So I will link it. Um, and then I will also link this organizer if you guys have the small bag. Um, I did, I think it's only the premium felt, but I will include the exact color that I picked for this one. Um, honestly, you can go with fun colors or whatever. Um, and then Zumoni did give me a discount code. I don't get anything from it, but it's just awesome that they offered 20% off. So I will also include that below. I think it's just Decor and Designer, but I will make sure to include the correct code for you guys. But I would take advantage if you guys are not using organizers for your bags, it's a big no-no. I feel like we spend so much money on these bags that the ones that you you want to like keep them looking as good as possible for as long as possible. So you need to be investing in good quality organizers. I've had organizers that I order from Amazon that are absolute garbage that have either torn that were made out of like some weird plastic. And then I've had like some great Etsy organizer companies that are made really well. I do trust only a few to make, be consistent with good quality. So I would say Zumoni, uh, Samorga, and maybe a couple other ones on Etsy. Um, but those are one-offs if like those two companies don't make them. So I would definitely take advantage and run and buy some organizers for your bags. Some of the bags that I have organizers in are my On The Go, my Never Full, um, my... Kusan, my Chanel. So any bag that really you want to make sure it's holding its shape, invest in the organizer. I promise it will not only sit better on your shelf, it will not crease and it'll just keep your organized and the interior lining of your bag will be protected. So that is my TED talk on organizers. Um, I feel like I should have an organizer company at this time because I use them so much. So Anyways, guys, um, I hope that was helpful. Just kind of touching on some of the travel bags that I use, especially ones that aren't really talked about too much, which are like the Ramoa ones. I feel like I don't see a ton of videos on them, but I know they're very popular. So I figured I would share, you know, my thoughts on why I went with a specific line and just how they've been holding up so far. So if you have any questions, as always, you can DM me on Decor and Designer or leave a comment below. I am super responsive. Anything that I can help with, please let me know and I will see you guys on the next video. Love you.